All right, gents, there's lots of great shooting drills out there. I mean, switching shoulders, barricades, all running, gunning. There's lots and lots of drills out there. However, you have to master the basic fundamentals, master the basics, all right? So what I want to talk about is five of our favorite drills for doing the basics. What are the basics? That's building that muscle memory so that you no longer have to think about when I bring the gun up, I've got to line up those sights. I've got to work that selector lever. When I bring it down, I've got to run that selector lever back on the safe. Now, all that stuff should be pushed into your subconscious mind. The only way to do that is repetitions. So when the Marines, Air Force, Army, when everybody comes to uh, Tier 1 group or other training camps to train, they spend days out on the range doing nothing but what we call up drills. All right? They do thousands and thousands of repetitions because it takes all those repetitions to push all this stuff into your subconscious thought. All right, so just basics right off the bat, the number one thing you do is just a standard up drill. Single shot, as the target presents, all you're gonna do is bring it up, line up the sights, send that first bullet, remember in your offset, and then follow through, put it back on safe, bring it down, nice and easy. Ready? Bring it down. You're gonna do it two more times. All right, simple up drills. Speed comes, go nice and slow, and get your, get your, get your hits. Remember your offset, you want those uh, right in the heart or the uh, aortic arch above it. Now, anybody that we're shooting once is we're shooting twice, right? All right, so now the next one is gonna be what we call a hammered pair or a double tap. Every time it presents, you're gonna get two sight pictures, one at the beginning, dump those two next shells, get that good follow through sight picture, uh, and then back on safe and uh, down looking for more targets. Ready. All right, now again, I don't want rounds that are just touching each other. No, it's spread them out across the chest, right? You need to be able to uh, inflict more damage on that body. All right? I'm not asking for controlled pairs. I want hammered pairs, right? Now, at this distance, could that guy miss you with that AK? No, so you've got to be the fastest one in that gunfight. Next drill we've got is called, we're gonna build off of that uh, hammered pair, and we're gonna do what's called a failure drill. Now, I'm not talking about the guys wearing body armor. I'm talking about, I need to be able to turn that light switch off. So first two rounds gotta go to the chest, big bang, as fast as you can. You've got to beat him to the trigger. Knock him off balance, but then I want, after that, I want one well-placed shot up in the tee box. The eyes or the nose, you've got to turn that light switch off. All right, so as fast as you can to the chest, gotta beat that AK, then a well-aimed shot to the chest. One more time. All right, so you see what I'm talking about? Those first two bullets are fast. You've got to get them out of the gun fast. Now, okay, cool. Now, that's fine. It's all right, but realistically, what we push, the further we get guys better, is you just, get, you just keep driving the gun until the target goes away. It's better if you have a turning target range like we have here. If you don't, start center of the torso and walk those rounds up into the head. If you have access to a turning range like we do here, he's gonna turn the target, and you're gonna keep shooting, working center all the way up to the head. You're gonna keep shooting till the target goes away. In other words, until he cuts it sideways. That represents the target going down out of play. All right, so this is the zipper drill. All right, we're ready. All right, started in the chest and I started walking rounds all the way up to the melon. Nice and simple, I'm gonna run it one more time. Ready? Simple drill. Keep working it until that target goes away. All right, now, that's my fourth drill, my fifth drill. How about if you got two targets, All right? Now, remember that, that uh, failure drill I did, two to the chest, one to the head, right? You've got to hit that guy with the AK before he hits you. Just knock him off balance. You, you don't have to keyhole him. Knock him off balance before he can shoot you. Now, what about this two guys? You've got to be able to hit both of them 
before either one of them gets that AK off. So to the chest, to the chest. Now we still want to tee box these guys, turn off that light switch. So it's two, two, two to each chest, tee box the second target, and then go over and tee box your first target. So you're making a box. I don't care what direction you go in. So I'm going to go left, right, move up to the head, right, back to the left target. To the chest, to the chest, head, head. Box. Hence, it's called a box drill. All right, cut them. Nice and simple. We'll do it one more time. All right, cut them for me. All right, nice and simple. I've got those first four rounds off fast. Could have been a lot faster, but again, you don't, you don't, I don't want to push myself to push you guys to go too fast. Speed will come, all right? Keep it in the kill zones where you need it to be, but you know it's up drill first, controlled pair or a hammered pair, double tap, failure drill, all right? Zipper drill, and then wrap it up doing targets and width, all right? We're using what we call the box drill. Anyways, gents, like I said, there's thousands of drills out there. These are what I personally think are uh, the five best for new shooters, trying to push them into uh, learning about combat shooting with a rifle. That's what we do here at Tactical Rifleman. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below and uh, check out the, uh, the button at the end of the video so you can uh, get your hands on some of these new sexy t-shirts we got. We'll see you next time. Shoot straight. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.